Well, hey there, junk man. Hey, Dusty. Yeah, it's gonna be a bottle of skeet and make a video, I guess. Now, what video are you gonna work on today? I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna make it on yet. What you got yourself but, there? Some ripple? Oh, this it's a bottle of skeet. It's gonna go down. Have me a slow burger and drink it up. But you know what it reminds me of? Oh, shucks. I'm not really sure. Kryptonite. Kryptonite? Yeah, Kryptonite. The rock that kills Superman or makes him, I guess, less powers where you can hurt him. You know, his only weakness. How does that remind you of Kryptonite? How does this remind me of Kryptonite? Well, one thing is green, but it reminds me of a toy that I had or I guess my brother had. And I don't know if you can really even call it a toy or not. This was, from what I've gathered online, I've seen some people say 78, some people say 77, so I guess it started in 77 or into 78. It was an ad in the comic book where you could order your own kryptonite rock. Would it make you sick? No, no, it wouldn't make you sick or weak or even give you cancer, but it was cool. And best of all, it would glow in the dark. Glow in the dark? Yeah, I like anything that would glow in the dark, especially back then. But I can remember... It's the first time i ever seen anybody, well, a child, send off for something. I mean, I did send off for it. Well, I didn't send off. There was a kid album on television, like your kid favorite songs or something. And I can remember my dad ordering that for us, uh, for me, uh, over the radio, over the radio, over the uh, TV. And I don't I remember, I remember playing it, me and my sister listening to it. I remember the song on there about John Jacob Hemmerheimer Schmidt. John Jacob what? Yeah. Remember that? Ugh. And there was one song I'll never forget. I'll never forget. Um, let me see. I forgot what it was now. Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, I have a girlfriend named Sally. She comes from Cincinnati with 28 toes and a pickle on her nose. And this is how her story goes. I L-O-V-E love you. I L-O-V-E. Wait a minute. L O V E love you. I K I S S kissed you. I K I S S kissed you on your F A C E face face face. I remember that song. I don't know why I still remember that, but yeah, I remember that. But anyway, this there was an ad in comic books around this time to send off for this kryptonite, and it had a whole good backstory where it would tell you that. Uh, you know, it's real kryptonite that you you have to buy it so the bad guys... Oh, shucks, like Lex Luthor. Superman's enemies. Yeah, Lex Luthor and some others. Like Doomsday. No, 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 not, not Doomsday. He wasn't around yet. In fact, that's the only only bad guy I know back then was uh, Lex Luthor. And this must have been a time around that movie came out because they was trying to hype in on that. Uh, but anyway, this, crypt, this ad, you know, said, you got to buy it. You got to buy it. So, uh... The bad guys don't get it and give it to Superman. I guess they were trying to, uh, you know, guilt Seamus into buying this. And my brother ordered it. Now, of course, he didn't order it. He didn't write the check and everything. And I guess he talked to mom and dad or grandma or somebody. Uh, he might even got me mom to order it. Who knows? But somebody ordered it and that, it came. I can remember us talking. And I was like 77. I was like five years old. I don't know why I have a memory of this stuck in my head. But I can remember. I can remember that box showing up at the. I don't have. I don't have really good like memories of it more than just like little scenes in my head, but I can remember getting an exciting feeling. You know, I, don't, I can't see it in my head. But I can remember the excitement of hey, this thing's here. We went to school together. My brother's older than me, so he was you know, he was a few grades up, and you know, we probably walked home from school and was like, let's check the mailbox. Nothing there. It's kind of like when I sent off with the free Emperor figure and never did get it. Checked the mailbox all the time. Never did get it. Still didn't get it. Um, but, uh, what was I? I lost my train of thought there. Okay, so, it came and it was in a little brown box. A little brown box. A little box that has Superman on it. Now, I've heard there's some different boxes that don't really say Superman at all, but they got a little piece of sticker on the back of it where it says made by the DC company or licensed by the DC company, so they must have been get, about to get sued, but... Back to the one I had with the Superman on the box. I remember it was like a cartoon Superman. And at this time, I don't remember. I don't think I went to the theater and saw the Superman movie. I don't think I saw it. Too. It was actually I saw it on cable television. It wasn't HBO. It was something that was like before HBO. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, it was something, and it was my 
one of my gra my grandmother had it. One of those triple X things. And uh, I remember she was like, "Why are y'all watching that? Is that right?" She was upset when my it was rated R. We we're like, "It's Superman, Superman." So we got to watch that. But anyway, it came, and I can still have a memory of the papers wrapped in, or at least I got it might be a false, fuzzy, false memory. But I can remember it was like brown paper. And it wasn't really like tissue paper or like a newspaper, but it was a little, it was like kind of like a newspaper, a little bit more thin. And there it was inside this box was the rock, yeah, the kryptonite rock. And you know it might have been different. Uh, each rock might have been different. Each rock might have been the same. I don't know anyone else ever had this. In fact, I never see it at a toy show or anything. If I did, I'm gonna try to pick it up because it'd be really cool to sit back here. But where was that? Where was that? Oh. So we got uh we got this rock, and I can remember just I can remember in my bedroom. So he must have got bored with it, or maybe I talked him into it. I can barely laying in my bed, you know, lights out, lights out, time to go to bed. So it was time to go to bed. You know, it's probably like nine o'clock. Uh, laying in that bed, lights all off. Uh, probably before I had a TV in my room watching TV, so it was probably pretty dark. And I can remember I have a memory in my head of laying in that bed looking at that rock. That and it would glow in the dark. This is back when stuff would glow in the dark really good. You had to hold it to the light for 10 minutes first, so it would glow for about three minutes. That's just seemed like about then. I mean, I had that, I had that rubber man you throw on the wall. I had a lot of stuff that would glow in the dark. I even had a Dracula, a Rimco figure that would glow in the dark. But anyway, I had this figure, figure, I had this rock my brother had, it, and I can remember just staring at this thing. I was amazed by it. I've never seen anything like this. To me, it was a kryptonite rock. It was a kryptonite rock. You know, it was something that could take away the power of Superman. And I never was a huge Superman fan. I was more of a Batman guy. But, you know, I saw the first movie. I liked it. The second movie was really good. And it kind of went downhill. And I don't think I've seen a Superman movie since then. Except for the time he got hooked up with Batman and they fought each other. And it was horrible. Uh, I think at a hotel one time, I watched Justice League movie. And it made me wish I had ice cold diet. Really, it would be better than watching that crap. But back to this rock. I don't really got a lot to say about it because I don't have a much memory to it. But I was looking at this bottle of skeet, green, and it's about how the green that rock was. And it just made me, it just flooded back all these memories of that rock. And, you know, I talk about a lot of toys back in the 70s and stuff, especially a lot of superhero toys. I mean, we've talked about Rimco toys, Miko toys, Rack toys of Marvel and DC. And it hit me. I don't think I've ever mentioned my memories of this kryptonite rock. Now, it didn't do anything other than glow in the dark, of course. And it, it felt like a rock from what I remember. It wasn't like plastic. Like they do it today, it would be 10 times, cost more, 10 times more. And it would be plastic or rubber or something. This was a rock. Whoever owned this company probably went out to the back of the yard and got a rock and painted it with some green, green spray paint. But to me, that thing was a kryptonite rock. And it, uh, it reminds me of remember the Superman movie when he went to that... Uh, Solace, that Solace place up in the North Pole or something. And um, see, I remember that one. It was like a green crystal. Like I hadn't seen it in a long time. It was like something like a piece of glass and it was green. I used to want that so bad. And it would glow in there. And that, that rock reminded me of that. And I don't know whatever happened in this rock. I'm sure it would stop glowing after a couple of weeks. And I'm sure my mom was like, it's a rock. Throw that crap away. She cleaned our room one day where we were out there. But I can just have that memory of getting excited to get it. That wrapping paper that was on it. Very strange brown paper. And um, I just oh, kind of want to make- sounds like a really cool toy junk, man. I tell you what, you ought to make a video on it. I think a lot of people would like to hear this one. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I should do it. Yeah, I, I don't know how to do a video on it though. Because I don't have much to say about it. Like I said, now I want to do a video, you know, and see who out there remembers it. But like I said, I, all I can say is like, here's a rock. Remember this kryptonite rock it was in the mail? or through a comic book, and that's about a two second video. So how do I turn a 30, maybe a two minute video into maybe a 10 minute video? How do I do that? Oh shook, that sounds hard. I don't know, I don't know. Larry, what time is it? It's time to get your ass up and make oh, a video. Shit. I gotta go record and make some kind of video. I'll see you, Dustin. Later, jump man. You. Gotta oh. get back to work. Ugh. Hey, jump <laughs> man channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>